Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well today we're going to be showing you a very cool little e-commerce plugin and it's a floating cart icon. And if you click on it, it'll show you the icons in your cart. And if you add a new product to your cart, let's go to our product. It's got a little animation there too, which is a nice little feature. And obviously when people are scrolling around your site, if they want to check their cart, that's a really nice little feature to have. Now it comes in um, two flavors. There's a free one and there's a pro one. And we'll start by looking at the free one and then I'll just show the extra features of the pro one. And both of them are great. So this is actually the pro one I've got going on here. If I go to a different site, this is the free one right here. And you've got pretty much the same functionality. You're a little limited with the styling and features. So let's go take a look at it. Let's go to the dashboard. Once it's installed and downloaded, and I'll put the link below, you can just download the free version from here. But as I say, once it's installed, just install it like any other plugin, you'll see this in your dashboard. But to actually edit the settings, it's in your theme customizer. So with mine, I'm using Divi. I'm going to go down to Divi, but most of them it'll be in theory appearance and customize I usually go down to this one but they're both the same page and as you can see once installed you get this little woo floating cart entry right here and simply click on it to get to your settings now as soon as you install it it's gonna appear right there on the bottom and as you can see it's got a number of items counter right there as well as a little basket icon so if we have a look at the general settings I've left mine exactly as the default here um, forcing Ajax they say you only need to do that if you've got issues caching issues I don't lock page on scroll when active like I say most of these you can play with them but I've left mine just as they are now the overlay color is the color that the background goes when you actually click on this you'll see it goes slightly darker there and of course you can put in whatever color you choose to there's it with a blue <laughs> but um, if we roll on down here's our little trigger cart position and this little white box is the trigger the actual trigger so you can choose to have it bottom right bottom left top right top left I quite like the bottom right there which is the default and also the counter position number of items you've got there you can flip that around if you want to of course if you were to put it on the left hand side you probably want to put that on the right but that is entirely up to you now that's pretty much all you can do here all these other features are premium they've got that little red box so you can only use them with the pro version which a lot of its size vertical offset auto height card width the only thing I mean if you know a bit of CSS most of this you can do with custom CSS and I'll just show you a little bit in a moment but the only thing I really miss is being able to change the icon itself because that's okay but it's not exactly the most exciting cart icon that I've seen as you can see most of these are pro features so if we go back go down to the next one visibility cart Z index Z index is how forward or backwards it is if you're scrolling down your site and you suddenly see an element come over the top of this because you want this on top all the time you need to increase your Z index for instance if I had something with a Z index of 10 and I had another index, uh, another element with an index of five or even nine. When I scroll the element of 10 over the one with five, the Z index of 10 is one that's going to appear on top. So you could say that one was 10 and this one's five, the one underneath. 
that makes any sense. And again, a lot of these features you're only going to get with the pro version. Now, as I say, this little white box here with a card icon is the trigger. So let's just go down to there. Most of this, you're not going to be able to edit without the pro version. But like I still say, it's still functional. It's still a great thing to have on your site. Yeah, you can choose whether to mouse over or click. Like I say, the only thing that I really miss is not being able to change this icon. So let's go back. And I'm going to go back to my customizer. And of course, like I say, I'm using Google Chrome here. So I'm going to use a Chrome inspector to just check some CSS here in a minute. Most themes have the additional th CSS at the bottom there. Um, I write a lot of CSS if you follow my videos. So let's have a look to see. I'm just going to go down where there's some space. I'm going to right click on this and hit inspect. Like I say, I'm using Google Chrome that has the inspector tools. I think most browsers have this nowadays but if not Google Chrome's perfectly free and works on most devices. Alright let's see what we've got here. There's our icon. Well we can't do anything with the icon unfortunately. There's the count button. Here's the actual trigger itself. So we can do some a few things with the trigger. For instance, we can make it round. Let's see where it is. Make sure we're on the right thing here. Yeah, there's the color of it right there. XT Wu FC trigger. Well, let's make a let's make it this sort of purple color up here. So I've got a free color picker right here. I'm just going to hover over and get this color. Copy it. Close that. Let's change this color. And as you can see, that's changed it to that color for us right now. And let's see, I'd like to make mine round, I think. So let's give it a bit of border radius. And let's say 50%. That should make it a circle. There we go. And of course, this not is not going to work unless you write it into your custom CSS here because once I refresh that'll go away. But if we want to make it permanent, let's copy those two lines there. Let's get our class first. Here's the class. Double click on it. Select bit we want which is the XT Wu FC trigger. Let's make sure that's correct. Yep, there it is. Control C to copy. It's a class so I need to put a dot in front of it. Open and close some curly brackets. And now we'll just paste our couple of lines of code we wrote in there. Like I say, this is pretty minimal, but you can match it to your site by doing a simple bit of CSS like this. Okay, we've put that in there. Let's just tidy that up. Publish it. Get rid of the inspector. All right, now when we go back to our site, when I refresh, that should go round and be this purple color we used up here. So let's refresh. And there you go, that's a pretty handy little feature. And of course with CSS you can reposition it, give it some shadow, do what you want with it pretty much. The only thing you won't be able to do is change that icon there. So that's the free version and it's absolutely great. Like I say, but if you go into the, um, oh, I didn't even show you. Of course, when you open this, you can go straight to your checkout page. This sort of negates going to the cart page, but you can change that in the settings. Or at least you can in the pro version for sure. It takes you straight to the cart. So let's take a look at the pro version now. And like I say, the free version is free. The pro version is $49 a year for a single site and you can do a lifetime option if you want which is 149 so again we need to go down to our customizer doesn't matter which one and again we'll find our woo floating cart here and this is the pro version 
So in our general settings, you can change all this stuff now. You can make it bigger, small. As you can see, I've got mine on the left there. You can make it bigger, smaller. Offset it horizontally. Offset it vertically if you want to. I don't think I'd want it right there, but we could put it over here. You can auto height cart width etc different sort of effects when you add a product I quite like the vertical shake but no shake horizontal and of course all these options are available now now I don't want to change too much here because I've got it pretty much the way I want it but let's go back and let's go down to our actual trigger itself here. The cart trigger, now you've got a bunch of icons you can use. And I think they're a lot more interesting than the sort of generic basket one they had on the other one. Well, that's fine. Cart trigger close icon. When you open the cart, there's the close trigger right there. You can choose one of these if you prefer. Moving on down, of course, now you've got your icon color. Let's just close that one. And you can choose your cart trigger icon color. Don't think I'd like to keep it yellow, but if you wanted to, you could. And of course, the close trigger that we just saw, the icon color. Cart trigger background color. product counter background color and trigger activation it's amazing there's, there's all kind of things you can really customize this to your heart's content there and you can also go in let's go back cart body let's flip it around the other way Yeah, just like anything else, you can go through and change everything you want. And that's a really nice little feature to have on your site. Really easy to configure. When you're happy, simply pu publish your changes and exit the customizer. So there you go, there's the Woo floating card icon for you. Really easy co to configure, nice little option to have on your site, whether you go for the pro version that I've got there. That we've got here. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.